right now, so I'm here on a uh, no cooling car. Um, I turned the condenser off, sounded like shit. You can see, like, they done some repairs for the shakiness. But what's happening, um, well, I'm about to check the pressures. It seems like it's gonna be low. Um, I already checked the filter, we got good airflow. So I'm gonna slap my gauges on there and see what's going on. As I figured, it's flat. So we're gonna have a leak somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, visually looking at here, uh, out here in the condenser, uh, it seems like there's no leaks out here. Things gonna be in the evap. <sighs> so I guess out of time. Alright guys, like I said, out of time. <clears throat> This our return, which goes all the way around. So we have a carrier. Okay, let me put some light. Okay, so we have a carrier with the, which is just the furnace. With we have that slap coil. Check it out. Ooh, look at that cockitis. You can see they opened it up to check to clean it out or to check if it was dirty, which is which is a good idea. I'm pretty sure it was clean because it's blown good air on all the registers. But we're gonna have to open this up and see if we have a leak. So let me check. <laughs> I open up this side and I mean it's just rusty, which is like um typical for the type of year this is from. So I'm gonna have to probably open this up take a visual look of the coil itself okay so we have a a three ton coil but oh, there's no signs of, of leaks in here only right here on the flare you can see all the, the oil residue so right there pretty sure there's a leak right there and over here on the cylinder without oil so right there and right there but I mean um, I think the best thing to do here is pressure test it and um, verify verify that uh, we have leaks there and there and not nowhere else because this is an older system so if they're gonna repair it might as well do it right okay so let me go see if they want to pressure test it and we'll go ahead and do that Okay guys, so I went ahead and opened up the this little plate they put. But as you can see, there's no signs of leaks. Well, that right there is just dirt. But the coil is actually not that, that dirty for, for its age. Okay, so um, I cornered them on a new system, um, which I recommend because that unit's like 22, 23 years old. Um, it's not worth repairing that that, that, that unit. Um, they might have more more issues in the in the future. So, but I mean, we still cornered them on the on the leak re, um, leak test and on the new system. So we'll see we'll see what they go what they go with. Okay, so this is the next day. We're gonna go ahead and swap this this old old system out. We're gonna be going with the new new system. So, <laughs> all right, demo time. So we removed all um, the furnace coil, and um, now we're gonna set up our our new system right here. All right, guys, this is the. The setup we have going. So we got it leveled out. Our uh, our coil, our drains are right there. The gas is kind of run away, but it's all right. You see, we added a wetted a water pan too. 
They didn't have one. Secondary pan. Have you guys ever had this freaking stubby thing here get stuck? Just had that problem right now. Had to freaking use a bit to do this shit. Check it out. What a bitch, man. Hopefully that one's not that hard. This is a condenser we're going to be swapping. Have you guys ever struggled to take off the condensers with the with the nails? This is my way. Here's the finished product. Little Goodman. Hold on, let me get up here. Just gotta insulate that line. A little shark bite. There's the secondary pan. Uh, we have it leveled down, so it goes it goes outside that way. It, it goes to the to like a window, and then here we have our uh, primary. I had to make a trap because um, the pitch up I had didn't fit, and um, we use the shark bite PVC to to copper. And Oscar, Oscar, for guys, is drawing inside of the coil. the coil. So we have to open it up. So we're gonna tape that off again. Pick a noob. So we just turn it on, turned it on, kicked it on. It Sounding on. pretty. It sounds quiet. Oh, turbo kicked on. You heard it? VTEC. Yeah, so the new Goodman's come with VTEC, as you heard it. When you reach a uh, certain PSI. So we're gonna go by that slip code name. On this one, it's nine. So we're gonna shoot for nine. Right now, we we'll already started up, so we'll let it stabilize. This is the finished part of um, my skitterman. We put a, a whip for the thermostat because I don't know if you guys, I'll show you guys later. The, like I, I guess dogs bit the thermostat wire. And I was protected.